Hello everyone, welcome to another Brews and News Coffee Reviews. I'm your host, George Bachara. We are here in Martinez, California at State Coffee. Of course, my camera work is lousy as usual. Um, we're gonna go inside, do a review, have some coffee, have some uh, pastries probably. Uh, there's several locations. We are in the downtown Martinez in uh, location in California. Um, so let's go inside and uh, see what we got. Okay, so we're here at uh, State Coffee and Bread, right, in Martinez, California. Uh, I already walked through. There's going to be some uh, video shot in and out uh, to kind of give you an idea of how the place is laid out. Um, it's a really cool kind of uh, neighborhood place, even though they have three or four locations. And I'll post all the locations, obviously, um, in the description box, and then I'll put some of the uh, Kairos. I mean, who knows what I'll do? You know, we're, I do all kinds of crazy stuff when I've got time on my hands. So I'm going to back this up so you can actually see coffee I'm drinking. I just took a regular mocha here and I'm going to give it a little sip. I'm sure it's delicious. They do a lot of art. Oh, I took I took a still shot, so you'll see that also. Actually, this is really good. It actually tastes like chocolate and not chocolate syrup. I mean, this is actually very, very good. I'm kind of impressed. I'm not a big like sugar and syrup kind of person. I just drink my coffee. Um, if you go into the channel, you'll see I drink a lot of drip coffee, I drink a lot of espresso. But this is really, really good. So I would say, um, right off the bat, this is this is a win. So I brought in some help, because I'm a very boring person, and I will only drink one type of coffee, so I need a little help. So you're going to see some people, hopefully more than just me, on this channel from time to time. And today we have Nicole and Megan, and they're going to uh, come by and tell us about what they ordered and what they think of it. So hold on, and we'll get them in the picture. So this is the illustrious Nicole. You may know Nicole from the Wine Channel. She was supposed to come on camera in Fort Lauderdale and then chickened out at the last minute. Well, I cornered her now at her favorite coffee place. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about what she orders here and what she thinks of it. So Nicole, how are you doing today? Wonderful, thanks George. Thank you for coming out and spending a little time on a Sunday. Um, I understand you were up uh, tasting some wine yesterday, so you look really put together for someone <laughs> that was probably out and about till all hours of the night yesterday. Makeup so helps. good job. <laughs> Makeup helps, I'm sure. I should try some. I'm sure I've been told that many times. So tell me a little bit about what you ordered. Is this an iced vanilla latte? Is that what you have? Yes, it is. So what do you think of it? So really smooth. I'm not a huge coffee person, so really kind of having not an overpowering amount of coffee flavor in there really is nice. And the vanilla, I mean, what can I say about that as far as like, it's just perfection. Does it taste like, like, like overly sweet, like maybe a Starbucks or something like that? Oh, or do you feel no. like it's more? I mean, when I go to Starbucks, I get all the sweeteners and it is just, it tastes pretty bad. So for me, this is wonderful. It's a perfect amount of sweetness. Okay, cool. And um, is this your drink or did you try something different? Okay, so yeah. the ice vanilla latte is pretty much your, pretty much your, your story. Yeah, it's my go-to. And how many times have you been here before? Because this was your idea. I know, it is. Actually, I've only been here one other time before, but I cannot say enough great things about it. Okay, cool. All right, so now let's bring Megan in. Okay. I ordered the matcha iced um, fruit with the ginger. Okay. And obviously you've had some of it, so tell me a little bit about what you thought of it. I mean, I by the way, these are both whole milk, right? They're both yes. whole milk. Correct. Okay. Very and creamy. so is mine. Yeah, it's very creamy. It's delicious. Do you taste the ginger in the it? The ginger, you definitely get on the after taste, which is nice. And kind of a different spin because Starbucks beans, like, don't have that kind of blend. They have more of a matcha taste, right? Matcha more vanilla-y? Matcha, add vanilla to it. Okay. But the ginger's nice. You 
it makes it a nice freshness. It cuts it a little bit, so that's okay. cool. Okay, cool. So why don't one of you ladies please cut into that bun there, and let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> don't worry. I mean, I'll definitely taste it as well. Don't get me wrong. Ooh, this is. That yeah, it's, it's supposed to be like a cinnamon bun with sugar. So let's see what happens. Is it good? Like the does it taste like a croissant? Oh, yeah. uh -huh. That's good. Does it yeah. taste like a croissant? Yeah, it does have a croissant kind of taste, but you can taste the cinnamon. You can tell it's going to get more and more doughy in the middle. Okay, so fantastic. Okay, just to show that I'm not like a food pusher, I'm actually going to have some of this. Uh, normally, I don't eat this like pastry stuff. I'm a little too old to eat all this sugar and whatnot, but I'm going to give it a shot because I made them eat some. So let's see what this goes. <laughs> I don't feel bad about this at all. <laughs> worth it. This is worth the calories, it's worth the sugar. I'll like go in the sauna and die for an hour. <laughs> now they have a lot of other pastries here, but unfortunately we came in the afternoon on a Sunday, so they were pretty much cleaned out. But maybe I'll come by one day and taste something else that so they get more of a representation of like the different pastries that they have. But I don't feel stuck. Mm -hmm. by this. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't have chosen this probably, but I would have been an idiot. Yeah. This is really <laughs> okay, so definitely try these. Alright, that was really, really good. It's been a long time since I've been to a small little cafe, have a nice coffee. Well, that's not true because I went to uh, Panantico in New York. But in California, it's been a long time since I've been to a private, independent cafe. Uh, this is a really great, uh, really great choice. Come out to Martinez. They have uh, three or four locations. Like I said, I'll post those locations for you in the description box below. And that way, if you're closer to one of those locations, definitely go try it out. Really great, like a kind of a one-off flavor. Very complicated with the different drinks. It's not very um, corporate. And uh, if you're near Martinez, it's a cute little town. You guys can come out. So that's uh, I'm George, and this was Brews and News Coffee Reviews, and we'll see you next time.